as part of the Smart EU Best Practices Guide. This is a guide to the sustainability of the project and also ways that you can get involved. We know that media literacy is vital. Smart EU recognises that there's a need for a toolkit to help us all face the onslaught, the barrage of information that we face on a daily basis. Through our work and research, we've learned that these tools work well when they're integrated into intergenerational settings. We have tried and tested tools added to our repository, and then we have made our own tools too. And we want to encourage everyone to use them. We want educators, young people, older people, intergenerational groups, and the intermediaries who work with them. And for that reason, because we want everyone to be able to access these tools, the resources are free to use, they're open, they're public, and they're licensed in a way which allows other people to make the very best use of them. To do that, we've used the Creative Commons licensing, and so all of the resources created by the Smart EU project, even including this presentation, are available under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike International Licence. So that means that you and anyone else are free to share, copy, redistribute, use the material in any medium or format. And you can also adapt, you can remix, you can transform and you can build upon the material. And we can't change that because we've licensed them. So as long as you follow the license terms, you are free to do, to do these things, to share and adapt. We do ask that you give appropriate credit that you share the link to the original source from our website. But if you do that, you can do that in any reasonable manner. We ask that you don't use the material for commercial purposes. And if you do reuse the material, if you remix, transform, change or build upon it, please distribute what you make under the same share alike license as the original. So we made lots of open educational resources. There are lots of things that you can use, that anyone can use. We have a repository of open educational resources. This is hand-picked resources from around the web from multiple countries. And we will continue to add to, improve and refresh this repository beyond the life of the project. There are workshops and the videos, presentations, resources and the methodology are available and they will remain available for anyone to use in their own contexts. We have a B-learning course, which is a course for educators. This is open and it will remain open indefinitely. And we're also translating it into other languages so that more people will be able to use, access and benefit from it. We have an intergenerational YouTube video tool and this will remain accessible from the website. We have a guide, which is a hand-picked tried and tested resources for educators, young people, old people and intergenerational youth and this will remain available. There's also a custom search engine which only contains those resources that we have approved, tried and tested and we know are good quality and we will keep this updated beyond the life of the project. We've created our own resources, so there are smart EU resources because we noticed that when we were collecting resources, there were some things missing. So we've created our own and these will again remain available for use under our Creative Commons license terms. We have social media, so the YouTube and Twitter accounts, they will remain active and we will continue to share high quality content. And throughout the project, we've been building a network of European smart EU learners and practitioners. Smart EU will facilitate the continuing conversation between you and the other members of the network. So how can you help? How can you help this project stay sustainable? There are lots of ways to get involved. One of them is that you can contribute resources to our repository. So if you send us good resources, we will add them to our list. You can do that by going to our website, going to the guide, and contact here and there's a nice form to fill in and you can upload to share your resources with us here. You can also sign up to the newsletter. You can do that by going to our homepage, 
you can see the archive of previous newsletters here, and you can also sign up here or here, subscribe to a newsletter. You can enrol on our e-learning course, which you can find from the home page. As you click here, you should be able to enrol and then you can access all of the course. You can use our resources to run your own intergenerational workshop. You click on participate your activities in the home screen. Here you'll find resources in multiple languages. There are videos and presentations and other um, resources that you can use to run an intergenerational participatory workshop. You could translate some of the resources. We're busy working on translating some of them into Portuguese and Spanish and French. And you can also contribute to that by sending us the text and then we'll work and make it pretty added. So then the resources can be accessed by many more people. You could also contact us about running bespoke workshops and courses. We would be happy to work with you to run some courses or workshops in your particular settings, please let us know. If you've benefited from the project, you could share your testimonial, um, you can call us a short YouTube video, we'll share it on our channel, or just let us know by clicking on the contact page so that we can get that feedback and we can share it. You could also contact us about collaborating on future projects or finding funding. Um, we'd love to, we've already collaborated with other projects and we'd love to continue collaborating with other organisations and other projects in the future. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Social Media Resilience Toolkit. And here you can find lots of resources, lots of videos and playlists and interviews with experts and people who've been involved in the project. And you can engage with our socials. We have a Twitter account and a hashtag on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and anywhere else is smart underscore EU. And please do share the resources, please share far and wide so that everybody can benefit from this project. You can find out more from our website, which is smart-toolkit.eu.